Hello, Gemini viewers. Um, so last reading I did, I was getting that there's some kind of third party situation for most of you. It could, could have been something recent that, that happened. I was getting the karmics kind of holding them hostage right now. Like they chose you, but you might not even be aware that they chose you because the karmic might have something on them and might just not be letting them go. And there might be some drama that they're getting tied up in. But let's see what's going on now. Sadness. And it's it's a third party situation. So I mean, it could be like a work situation too. It doesn't have to be a person. It could just be some third party energy that's keeping them from you and they're trying to figure it out and get through it. Um, I think the truth is that they're a lot sadder over you than you realize they are. Dreams, visions, telepathy. There might be psychic communication, like you guys might be showing up in each other's dreams and you might think it's just a dream, but it might actually be um, telepathic communication taking place in your dreams. I also feel like they're kind of stagnant on a physical level, but like astrally, telepathically, you guys are really communicating. And I think that confuses you sometimes because I think that you pick up on their energy. But then if you guys talk or if you're like, you know, checking out their social media, like they just, they seem cold and distant. Like you're getting two mixed energies from them. And I think it's because their soul is missing you. Like their soul is wanting to be close to you, but consciously they're a little bit guarded and they're a little bit, um, distracted by what's going on in the physical realm they have a lot on their plate right now that's really just distracting them and kind of um taking priority in their life right now sorry about that i'm trying to straighten that out for you guys <laughs> well, maybe i should pull some of these because i just randomly picked them up I need you to help me understand. I thought I could clarify, but I can't. I need answers. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicities. Your name comes up in conversation. You're so different than anyone I've ever met. You help me become a better person. You're so kind, empathetic, and thoughtful, and you're and it's inspiring me to open up to you. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. So this is this seems like a situation where they're realizing the psychic nature of this connection. Like there's a lot of synchronicity. Um, but they don't understand. I don't think that they fully have wrapped their head around it. And I also just think there's so much going on with them consciously that's really just distracting them. And it makes it hard for them to uh, really act on the synchronicity and the, the intuitive nudges that they've been getting. If this is your reading and you want a private reading, I can go more in depth into, you know, what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, just whatever you want to know about them. You know, it's, it's a lot more specific. Um, my email is below in the description box right below this video. So you can just copy and paste that email. Got choose a path. Well, I like to do it this way when I get choose a path. So what are the two options? Mutual feelings, trapped, block, tied up, passion, romance, willpower, strength, confidence. Okay. Show me more about the trapped energy. Hmm. Home, sense of belonging, safe space. It's like they don't feel quite at home where they're at. It's like there's... Hmm. It's going to take a lot of willpower and strength and confidence to, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get this straight for you guys. It's going to take a lot of uh, strength and willpower and confidence, I think, for them to get out of this situation. It's like, do they want to stay trapped in this energy, whatever it is, it's something they need to take the blindfold off and they need to cut this cord. Or this could be you that needs to cut the cord. For most of you, I feel like it's your person, but for some of you, it could be you that you need to free yourself from something. You need to take your power and your strength back so that you can have this, this new love over here. Um, but for others, I feel like this is your person. It's like, there's something like, like I almost get like hierophant energy, like societal pressures, like emperor type energy, um, it could be male or female, but you just get like, like family, friends, like a social group, uh, pressures at work, like having to work like a nine to five job, maybe being in a position that you're, you, you know, they have a lot of responsibilities, um, 
you know, karmic situations where it's like they feel like they can't act on their emotions. Like they they just feel like they're kind of stuck. So they need to make that decision. Are they going to stay trapped in this? Or are they going to come forward and act on these, these feelings towards you? And let me know, let me get, uh, know if you guys like the shorter or the longer readings. I'm kind of debating on maybe just doing 10 minute readings instead of like the 20, 30 minute ones I usually do. Cause I mean, I don't know, but let me know. I'm, I'm down to do either. It would just, I get like a, almost like a businessman or businesswoman energy for some of them. Like there's something, there's just a lot of stress. There's a lot on their plate that's really taking their time and attention right now. And it makes sense with the energy I got before, the karmic holding them hostage. It's like they chose you, but then the karmic like found some way to drag them back in. Like the karmic's like not letting them choose you, if that makes sense. Like there, there's some kind of block there or something going on what else do you need to know about this love offer commitment new love faded encounter submissive weak willed make your move green light You might have a new love offer coming in from a new person that you're going to meet. And it's going to be hard to resist this because it's like it's, it might be destiny for you. And you're going to have to decide right then and there. Do you want to make a move? Like you're going to have that green light. You might have some unexpected energy come up where you think it's going to be one person and it ends up being someone entirely different like. I almost feel like the person that's being held hostage does feel like a soulmate. But at the same time, if the karmic is pulling them back in and not allowing them to come towards you and they're just kind of going along with that, it just feels like the divine is like putting their foot down. Like they're not allowing you to get sucked in that for too long. It's like this person had a choice and they are getting drawn back into the drama with the karmic, unfortunately. But the karmic might have something on them. Like, it might be like a custody battle or something of that sort where the karmic has something on them so they can't just escape that easily. But the divine also doesn't want you to be alone. Because it really feels like two different energies here. Because it feels like someone... It feels like the, your person in mind, like, just has so much on their plate. Like, they're so stressed out and they keep getting distracted from you. But then it feels like this new love coming in that has all the time in the world for you. And you're going to have a, a choice to make out of nowhere that you're not going to expect. For a lot of you, it feels like. Your spirit guides just don't want you to have to be alone anymore. Clubs, parties, social life. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, shyness, fear of rejection, codependency, addiction. Hmm. Sorry, I have to keep pausing the video because there's the lawnmower guys outside. So I'm sorry, this reading is so jumbled. <laughs> but anyway, what I was getting at here, let's see where we're at. So love offer commitment. Yeah, I feel like there's a new love. I feel like for some of you, this is a new person coming in. Because I feel like I was saying, I feel like you, I feel like your guides are just not giving the soulmate as much of a chance anymore. Like they had their chance, but it's like the karmic, they're, the karmic has just really got their claws in them and they don't want you to stay in that cycle with them forever. You know, because I think you've been waiting on this for quite a while and maybe holding space and just hoping they would come back. But it's, it's like it just, I think it's just gotten frustrating. Um, there is someone that's overthinking, overanalyzing, kind of self-sabotaging self, self -sabotaging out of um, shyness and fear of getting hurt. 
This could have been a codependent connection. This could be someone that you used to go to like clubs, parties, social events with, mutual friends, that kind of energy. Um, what do you need to know about this situation? What else? Divine intervention, synchronicity. Yeah, like I said, the divine is like, they're tired of you being wrapped up in this situation. So a lot of them are bringing you new love. Um... I know it's frustrating because the reading I did for you guys before, I was really getting, well, I mean, I got that they chose you and that you might not even know they chose you because it's like these conversations are happening between them and the karmic. So you might not even be conscious of what's being said behind the scenes, behind closed doors. But the karmic was still holding them hostage. And I just get more of that energy, unfortunately. I don't feel a huge shift. I just feel like your person's just they feel very rigid like very tense very stressed out very um feel like a lot of them are working a lot they're working hard for something I don't know if they're working like at like a job like they're working like a nine to five job working more hours they could be saving money to try to get custody um but their their focus is is not on you right now sadly it really feels like their focus is on this situation and possibly escaping the situation um, but it just feels like, you know how like sometimes when you miss someone, like you think about them, but you think about them more when you have time off and you have nothing, like you're just kind of laying there in bed. That's when you think about them the most. But sometimes like when you're working and you're stressed, it's like you're so focused on like getting out of poverty or, you know, some kind of da like scary, dangerous situation kind of energy is what I'm getting. Like you're just so focused on that, that it's like you still miss them. They're still in the back of your head, but it's not quite your priority because there's something urgent at the forefront. And that's the energy I'm getting for your, your person with the karmic that like they threatened them or there's like a custody battle coming up or, um, they're threatening to move out or they're threatening to kick your person out. So your person's like working extra hours to try to save money to get out of that situation. Like your person, their body just feels tense. Like they like channeling them. I see them in like a business suit, but I don't know if that's like a metaphor for maybe someone who's just really focusing on getting their life together, focusing on getting their finances together. And like I said, there could be a specific reason for that. Like fees for a lawyer, it might not be custody. It might be um, maybe splitting a house together. Maybe they're trying to, they don't want to lose the house or they don't want to have to be, they don't have to, have to like leave if they're, if they're running the place together. They don't want to be homeless. It's something, some kind of um, near future threat that, that's really just consuming them right now. And it's good that they are trying to get out of that, but at the same time, it's almost like a vicious cycle. It's like a very codependent cycle with your person and their karmic that they're with. And even though your person may love you, your the divine also doesn't know how long this karmic situation is going to drag out. Like the the karmic the, the divine is tr has been trying to pull them out of it, but the karmic just pulls them back in. There's just so much drama there, and they're both just. It's like your person is in low vibrational energy, but because of the karmic, it's like they feed. I don't know if like it's like a psychic vampire type thing, but it's, it almost just feels like like the karmic's energy is negative and then your person's response to that energy is negative and then it's like they just go in this downward spiral together like they're they're codependent and they're dragging each other down and your guides love you and they just don't want you to be in that process with them. They don't want you getting dragged down into that chaos with them into the anger, the miscommunication, the, all that energy. So some of them are saying, you know, what enough is enough, like, and they're, they're bringing someone new in. Um, it doesn't mean, I mean, you have free will. You could, you could choose to wait for this person, but it, it seems like the divine is not, it's really up in the air how long it's going to take for your person to get out of this karmic situation because there's just more and more drama coming up and it's just a vicious cycle. And your guides really want you to protect yourself and not have to feel all this chaotic energy with them. And so for a lot of you, new and unexpected love, you know, fated encounter, destiny is coming in. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. Below this video, you can just copy and paste the email, uh, dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Any donations are also appreciated. Even just a dollar really adds up quickly. 
my PayPal and Cash App is also below. So thank you guys for that. Okay, final messages here. Open, honest communication message. And please let me know if you guys prefer the longer or the shorter readings. I'm considering like doing 10 minute readings in the future, but I want to know what you guys think. Oh, <coughs> oh, sorry. Open, honest communication message, pulling them in, taking it slow, getting to know each other. Waiting, hoping, praying. There could be like a secret admirer type or this could be the new person messaging you and wanting to kind of take it slowly, but it's something that they've, like you, maybe they've prayed for you. Maybe it's like you manifested love, but you put in so much energy towards manifesting. It's like you have love coming in from all these different angles. Now you might have that love, that intention of being loved. It might manifest with someone new instead of with the person that you intended it to be with, which isn't a bad thing though, because this person, this other person seems like the new love seems like they're going to be more stable. Um, Someone's wanting to message you is what I'm getting. Listening, understanding, new perspective. True love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, your faith, and bravery. Yes, someone noticed your beauty. Someone is noticing your beauty, your mystery, your enchantment, male or female. Reconciliation. Someone from your past might want to reconcile to have sex, and you need to watch out for that. That's just a random message. I think that's just for one specific, one or two specific people that watch out for random, hey, baby, I missed you, you know, snake text messages out of nowhere. But overall, you've got a choice coming up, and it's. I feel like it's a choice that you're not going to expect. It's going to be like you're just kind of, just going with the flow and it's like out of nowhere you have this this love come in or you have this message come in and it's like suddenly you have this choice that you have to make um so anyway i hope that resonates i hope it makes sense uh like i said feel free to email me and please subscribe if this is your story thanks for watching